I've had the opportunity of going to Costa Rica three times already. Uh, the first one was in 2011. Uh, I think it was around Memorial Weekend. Uh, it was a group of men that we traveled from Jacksonville, Florida, uh, all the way to uh, Alajuelita, uh, Costa Rica, and um, we had the chance to build a, a whole a new house or re, uh, or family of four. Most of the of, of what I did on the trip was to translate. There was a, you know there was a there was a time when I was kind of like thinking, what what am I here for? Everybody's like super buff. Everybody's huge, everybody works in the construction industry, business, uh, whatever, and, and, and here I am, uh, a 20-something year old dude that works at a retail store, um, you know, what am I here for? And, uh, you know, God showed me through my teammates that, you know, I was there to help translate and, and, and to bring a message into one language to the other to keep the, the communication between two languages intact and the bond and, and, and the, 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 you know the communication it was just such a vital uh, thing for you know uh, English speaking and Spanish speaking constructors uh, for the project uh, after that trip I went to Costa Rica again leading a trip uh, for one of the college ministries uh, called some 30 uh, that one was more like uh, summer vacation Bible school. Uh, so it was really sweet that we had a chance to just go to, to the streets and hang out with kids, you know, just love on them and play with them and, 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 um, and just spend time with them. And probably they didn't get to spend with, you know, their, anybody from their family. Uh, so us being able to just like, be there with them, play with them, and hear them, and talk to them, and laugh, and, and, and cry with them. It was just, it was, it was incredible as well. Um, plus, teaching them about the gospel, teaching them about God and Jesus and Paul, and the teachings of Jesus of how we are here to just love on everybody and to serve everybody, just as Jesus did with us, and uh, to show them that there's a true hope and there's a true redemption. We have to do is just um, seek out God, and, and he, He's, you know, He's there waiting for us. On the third trip, um, I, I had also the opportunity to lead. Um, and this trip was less of a. There was no like specific purpose. We got there, and then they told us that they wanted us. That it would be like a huge um, help if if we could like help repaint certain walls in the in the church and, and, and design like this whole new facade outside and it was cool that we had the opportunity to do that because it was like time was running super um, short and we were so frustrated because we wanted the project to be done but you know even though we didn't finish it all the way you know we invested you know our, our, ourselves and in, in, in everything that we were doing and, and, and we didn't even know how like just painting walls would be such an inspiring thing for, for the congregation. Uh, plus serving the neighborhoods and doing prayer walks around the neighborhoods. And, you know, being able to see it, how people actually live. You know, walk when you walk into a house and you see that there's no tiles, there's no wooden floors, there's no there's no rugs. There's nothing other than dirt. That's you know that's the floor of the house. To see that and to know that they live like that in a daily basis, probably their whole lives, they won't ever get the chance to see something different than that. And knowing where I come from, you know, knowing about what it, what it is to have a, you know a tiled a floor, or, you know, carpet. And, uh, you know those small details that. I've taken for granted before just being able to see the drastic change between how they live and how I live and how content they are with that you know you don't you don't come back home the same you don't you don't view what you have the same you're grateful for what you have you're grateful for 
the things that God has given you and for the things that you have been able to work hard for and to get, you know, and uh, just being able to be with the communities and just uh, feed the homeless and talk to them and pray for them and, you know, and, and be with them right there when they're pouring their heart out to you. It's, it's, nothing, it's nothing I've ever experienced before. I know that God wants us to go back and he, I know he wants us to be there for a year and I know he wants us to step out in faith um, and this is a huge step for us. We are stepping out in faith in such a great way because um, we're basically leaving everything behind for a full year. You don't know if you believe in Jesus or not. If you are a believer and uh, you feel like it's really hard for you to go on a mission trip or go overseas and spend time and resources on that. We ask you to please collaborate with us, partner with us in our mission, and that way, both of us, you and us, we can work as a team uh, in order to spread the gospel. If you don't believe in God, I I think you still believe in doing what is right. I, I believe that you believe in equal rights and in treating others as yourself in some way. Uh, so help us. You know, be able to, to give food to the those who are hungry, to, to be able to give shelter to those who are homeless, and to, to be able to educate uh, kids who, um, because of lack of resources, aren't able to go to school. Um, so whatever you're able to give, it's more than appreciated, and we would be more than grateful to be able to partner with you and uh, make um, a change of difference. Basically,